Okay, one of these buttons ought to do it. But which one? Hmm. Yeah, I got this. Uh. First that, then. Bridge is good to go. Let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello. This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Others are gonna be okay. These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling we'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, <laughs>
together. I'll take care of them. Too much? <laughs> That'll do! <laughs> Why don't you lead the way? This looks like the spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <laughs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, Buttercup. It's fine. It's just a cart. Can't kill you.
You okay? Uh, uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Clout didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <laughs> Think of him as a tag along. <sighs> Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Junior. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Junior. forward to this. Your homecoming? You'll see. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Surprised he had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Been out of work for ages. Wonder why. When you're hungry, remember something yeah. great you ate. Then you can eat the memory. Yes. I trust you ain't just window shopping. 
Bye. Just the look at me makes me feel worse. Look at money bags here going shopping. So much for that reactor and a step. Get me down. Then the extra thick ones would make them. Hurry it up, would ya? Thanks. Someone got their happy ending. Sorry, Tifa. Just ignore them. This place is nothing like it was. Is something I said? Neither are we. Oh. Hey, guys. Four years. You mind if I pop in for a minute? By, There's someone I want to see. His old hmm? gun's the only thing I've got left to remember him by. When I got hurt back in Nibelheim, they brought me to this clinic. The doctor here, Sharon. He's the one who saved my life. Oh. You're telling me Doc Sharon's the one who fixed you up? Come on. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! <laughs> the hell's gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran, it's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck and Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe, but not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think he can hold him still for me? At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is until I ran some tests. The results were strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier. It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. I ask, because I suspect there's soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now. And one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones. 
but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? Shit. <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd, too. <laughs> Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett, of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys. Got it. Oh, man. This is gonna be so much fun. Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. case. I got a situation. See for yourself. We have one of your robed men. If you want him back, it will cost you one million gil. Agree to the terms, and we'll take care of the rest. What's this? Beats the hell out of me. Guess some fool got it in her head I was making money off my research. You gonna pay up? Look at this place. Can barely afford bandages, never mind our ransom. <laughs> Only option is to save the man myself, or hire the right Merc to save him for me. Or the right Merc's friend, to be more precise. Who better to hunt down a criminal than someone who's got a nose for tracking? One finer than any human could ever possess. Well, I can't argue with you there. That was easy. So where do we start? Spoke with some of the neighbors, but they weren't much help. No one saw anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. You know, could be that the perpetrator threw on a hood to blend in. Not anyone have had so much as an eyelash or one more robe walking around. Cloud, the letter, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a strong scent, but... Cologne, perhaps? How about that? Picked up the trail already. Ah, uh, which reminds me. There's a compound in our rogue friend's sweat that glows when exposed to this light. Just hope it helps some. Follow me, Cloud. You can actually smell them? My olfactory sense is 7,000 times more sensitive than yours. Bodily secretions are as distinct as any perfume. A single sniff of a person's clothing is enough for me to locate them. Though there are a number of competing smells through which I must sift. Huh. What do I smell like? Hmm. Like a man who's killed his fair share of fiends, I suppose. <laughs> like blood and shit, then. Not literal shit, no. Would I recommend going? Do me proud! Yeah! I'll 
Sense seems to lead straight ahead, but oh, that's not good. What? Nothing. Let's continue. Oh, hello there. Different scent. He has nothing to do with the kidnapping. <laughs> oh, you must be hungry, huh? Sorry, but this is people food. <laughs> Whoa, easy there. I can spare a bite. <laughs> See a guy in a black robe come through? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it was his one hooded fella. With a chocobo carriage headed toward a cave nearby. Tracker, I have one terrible weakness. What? My appetite. With this overpowering aroma of meat in the air, I don't think I'll be able to focus on the kidnapper's scent. <laughs> I heard that. Grilled meat is all it takes to throw you off your game? Gotta be close. Time to put the doctor's light to use.
Kidnapper's camp. No sign of them. So, do we wait? Help! Some crazy bastard kidnapped us and stuck us in this cave! <sighs> huh? Why would we know anything? We were too freaked out to even look at him. <sighs> The kidnapper could be anywhere, or anyone. A smell. Cloud, it's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy, sniffing out the truth? <sighs> okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. In fact, we're the world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive! Bury the brat! <laughs> I wonder what your friends would have paid for you. Guess we'll never know. Do it. Here I come in. him up. Oh, you, you. What? Old buddy of yours? 
Barry look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. <sighs> stay a while! Sure you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. <sighs> Let's take him back to Sheeran. Glad to see our man still alive. And save for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier-related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was gonna have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. And I better get back to work. Blood won't draw itself. And given the sheer number of those robes, collecting samples will take time. Still waiting on a soldier sample, if you catch my drift.